Hi guys, it's Ksenia and welcome back to my channel. So it feels so weird saying those words and just filming again. I have been gone from YouTube for almost, I think, two weeks. I have a very valid reason for why I was gone for two weeks. I've responded to a lot of you guys, so some of you do know the reason. Honestly, I was not expecting anybody to notice. I know I kind of just left and I didn't say a word because of the situation. I kind of had to. I, I wasn't intentional. But I was not expecting that people would actually reach out to me and just telling me that you missed my videos, wondering where I was, wondering if I was okay. I did respond to every single one of you that asked and I just want to say a super huge thank you for those of you that even noticed my absence or that you said something, that you were actually like worried enough for me to like say something that literally makes me like emotional thinking about it you guys are so so loyal and i appreciate that so much and i'm so so grateful i know that this video is about the Billie eilish perfume which i'm going to be doing a first impression of in this video so before i get into all of the updates and all of that i will be talking for a long time you guys know that my videos are usually really long but today's intro is going to be exceptionally long because i'm gonna just kind of update you guys on a lot of things the whole phrase new year new me is that's me right now like everything is like changed really good like positive changes so if you want to hear all of that then obviously keep watching but if you want to skip that if you're just a random viewer and you just stumbled upon this video and you want to know about the review of the Billie Eilish perfume then just skip to this timestamp right here and you will go straight to the review but to all of my loyal subscribers to anybody that was wondering why I was gone here is the reason why my whole family actually it wasn't my whole family my brother did not end up getting it my fiance did not end up getting it which is a miracle it was basically just my my mom my dad and me we all got you know that popular c word youtube has a pretty strict policy with i think not being able to say that and i don't want this video to get demonetized so i'm sure by me saying the c word you guys probably know what i'm talking about so we all just kind of started feeling a little under the weather but basically pretty much christmas day and i'm extremely extremely grateful that we all got through it with a very mild case pretty mild cases for all three of us we had some symptoms but nothing crazy i never really had a fever all i really had was like a cough which i still kind of have it's like barely there like i cough like every once in a while that was literally like my first symptom and then that just kind of carried on throughout the entire duration of me being positive but it is gone now so i feel much better i basically feel back to myself i felt back to myself basically like even around like day four and five i was starting to just feel normal and i finally actually got tested again i tested on i think day seven um or day six because i was just really anxious and i just wanted to be negative because i didn't really have any more symptoms anymore i felt completely normal so i just wanted to go and be negative and just resume back to life but i got tested and it came back still positive so i was like oh oh my god like i was just kind of torn but when i did go to that appointment she informed me that the line was super super faint so she was sure that i was basically like on like the tail end of it and then in a couple days i would probably end up testing negative which i did i went back basically like almost three days later and i finally tested negative on monday that was like the best news ever and i basically just got back to life after that i was in quarantine for 10 days straight like did not leave my room at all and so i was kind of going a little crazy i don't ever want what i'm saying to come off as me like undermining this whole thing because i'm very 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 well aware that so many people have gone through it so much worse and so many people have lost loved ones that's just i mean i was very aware of that even as we were going through it there was points where like i felt so okay and i would almost be like guilty about it which sounds so crazy because i would be like oh my god like i cannot believe that you know people have been losing their lives to this and it was just making me really sad honestly just the thought of it it was very scary i'm a very big like health conscious kind of person i'm a very insanely huge hypochondriac so as soon as i got that positive test i was like freaked out but i took really good care of myself my whole family did we were you know taking our vitamins and doing everything that we were supposed to do we are all fully vaccinated and i know that there's such a big debate over that that's a choice that you make for yourself but personally that was a choice that i wanted to make and my parents as well and i'm 
a firm believer in the that is the reason why we got through it so easily now i know so many people have gone through it easily and they haven't been vaccinated like that's a whole other thing but we also knew people that got it at the same time as us and they were not vaccinated and they were having a horrible time with much 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 worse severe symptoms than we ever did and we had such extremely mild cases so that's why i would contribute a lot of that to the vaccine but again that's a personal choice i don't really want to get into all of that i just wanted to kind of mention it for myself i don't really care if you think i'm stupid that i'm vaccinated or if you're not you leave those comments, I will delete them, okay? It just kind of sucked um, just because I was in quarantine for 10 days, like I said. I didn't get to see my fiance. I spent New Year's away from him because, you know, we were all quarantined. But I'm still really thankful that I at least spent it with my parents. You know, we were all together. I always hesitate saying like, oh, it really sucked. And it was annoying that we were stuck at home because then I always remember how horribly people have gone through it. So to say that just feels really like disrespectful in a way. So that's the whole update on that that is the reason why i've been gone just been basically focusing on recovering and honestly the reason why i didn't film is because i had a pretty bad cough like i said so i would literally be coughing like every five minutes i couldn't get through like a whole video and then also i never lost my taste or smell my parents didn't either which was amazing but i was pretty congested so you know i couldn't really like smell perfumes to their full potential that's another reason why i didn't want to film but more than anything i just wanted to recover fully so that is basically the first update now i also have some really exciting updates my fiance and i he's not my fiance anymore because he's actually my husband now so before i got sick we actually ended up getting married we got our marriage license and we got our marriage certificate so we are legally now married which is really really exciting so now i'm going to probably just refer to him as my husband which feels crazy to say and we also got our very first apartment our move-in date is on the 20th of january so that's another really really exciting thing so i will have a whole new location where i'm going to be filming i'm super excited for that we got a new car i feel like i've in the past two weeks i've gone through like some huge life changes but i feel like those are like the main updates i guess most of oh my hair my hair is now red i completely forgot about my hair i feel like you can't really tell on camera i'll post a picture right here it's a lot more red than i feel like it looks it's kind of i mean it's not red it's like a deep burgundy sort of wine color which is what i was going for fun fact i actually filmed the entire process of me getting this and halfway through i had a really really big accident happen because my roots actually took a lot of the color like because my roots were so grown out i do dye my hair like almost a black color but my roots were grown out and so when i put the red dye over it because my hair up here was like virgin hair it really took the color and it lifted and it literally gave me like clifford the big red dog like bright fire engine red hair i'll post a picture right here and so ha like halfway through me doing it i had to like rush i put on a hat and i rushed to cvs and i grabbed like a burgundy sort of um hair dye and i just put that on my roots and it did kind of like fix the situation and now i'm like i'm obsessed with it honestly having red hair has been something that I always said to my husband, it's so weird saying that, but I've always said to him, I was like, at least once in my life, I want to dye my hair red. I did this yesterday, so it's like brand spanking new. And yesterday, I was actually on my way to Sally's Beauty to go get like my regular black hair dye. And he tells me over th the phone, he's like, didn't you say that you wanted to dye your hair red? He's like, why don't you do it? And that was all I needed. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it this is the dye i used just in case i get any questions just because i did post this over on my instagram yesterday and i got so many questions and dms of people asking me which dye i used so i used this dye right here it's like l'oreal high color and i basically mixed uh two reds and a magenta color and then a 30 developer and also no bleach needed it really really lifts color it's actually a dye that's specifically made for dark hair so it basically just lifted so easily it gave me like this burgundy beautiful hair and i absolutely love it so that is basically it for all of the updates i feel like those are like some ginormous major life updates but i couldn't be more excited for everything i hope you guys had 
amazing holidays i know that i left at such a pivotal time i had such amazing videos planned but you know life happened i hope you guys had a, an amazing christmas if you celebrate it i hope you had an amazing new year's if you celebrate it and i hope you guys were all safe i hope you guys are healthy i know it's crazy right now it's a crazy time literally so many people almost everybody that i know around me has you know the thing that i had and luckily everybody has been recovering re really well so that's a really good thing to hear but i hope you guys are okay out there if you're going through the same thing feel free to comment i know that when i was going through it i just wanted like to talk to somebody about it and like share symptoms i was really scared honestly like even though my symptoms were so mild it's something that you've been hearing in the medias for over two years it's like this big scary name and so just to have it gave me so much anxiety so if you're going through that right now definitely comment down below i will make sure to reply to you but that is it those were all of my huge life updates and now i'm back i will be posting every other day or at least trying to i will be filming a what perfumes i got for christmas video which i'm so excited about because i got some amazing perfumes that i'm so excited to share with you let me know if you guys want me to do like a what i got for christmas other than perfumes type of video i lived for those videos back in the day and even now i love watching them so let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing the non-perfume version of that and just let me know in general what videos you guys want to see from me this year i'm super open to any video ideas that you guys have i love to give you the content that you want before we get into this video please make sure that you are subscribed and turn your post notifications on but with all that being said let's get straight into this perfume so this is the brand new Billie Eilish celebrity perfume. She just launched this like a, a couple months ago and the first time that she released it, um, like the first release, I never got a chance to get it. By the time I went to go get it, it was all sold out and it was sold out for like about a month. It was sold out for a good while and I did put like my email for them to notify me when it came back and I finally got that email so I rushed and went and purchased it. Now unfortunately it is sold out once again so if you are going to get this you basically just need to do what i did and just they have a little notify me thing you put your email they'll notify you whenever they restock i'm not sure when they're going to do another restock but unfortunately as of like right now when i'm posting this video it is out of stock but i'm sure it'll come back sometime soon but anyways i have not yet smelled this so this will be a first impression this is not going to be like it's gonna be like a first impression slash like mini review of as much as I can review it I guess from like the first time I'm smelling it. I got this perfume basically like two days before I got sick and I had planned to film the video of this basically the day that I tested positive so that didn't happen so I have not yet smelled this. It's literally just been sitting in my room for the past two weeks so we can finally get to smelling it i'm so excited so here is the box that it comes with it's so beautiful one thing i will say about this is that the packaging is phenomenal so this perfume retails for 68 dollars which i know is kind of up there for a celebrity fragrance and it does only come in the full 100 ml bottle that is the only size that you can get now the shipping of this is crazy i posted this on like my community tab and you guys were like that shipping price is insane which it is so the shipping was 12 dollars and 65 cents which is insane like that's just standard shipping and basically the total ended up coming to 86 dollars which is crazy for a celebrity fragrance but i don't know about the smell but presentation wise i think it's worth it i think this is really really well designed like it's just literally stunning like not even opened yet also i'm missing a nail one thing about me is like my nails always have to be like on point but your girl's been going through it so i'm actually gonna be doing my nails today this is heavy oh my god this is beautiful it's it's heavy i did not expect this to be so heavy like it feels really really sturdy it looks super 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 luxurious that is beautiful honestly like packaging wise 10 out of 10 it says billy eilish right here the bottle is just stunning i would literally put this in like my living room as decoration because it's just so beautiful it's definitely the most 
bougie and most expensive looking celebrity perfume so i'm guessing you open it like that okay so that's what the perfume looks like before i get to actually smelling this i always do this with like my first impressions but i'm gonna quickly do a little rundown of the notes i have not watched a single review of this perfume purposefully so that it didn't like deter my opinion or anything that i was going to say so anyways this has top notes of sugar red berries and mandarin orange middle notes of vanilla cacao spicy notes and rose base notes of tonka bean musk amber and woody notes when this first came out before it actually was available to buy i saw those notes and i immediately knew that it was something that i was probably going to purchase just because those notes are right up my alley it just seems to be like from what i can see like a spicy vanilla ambery woody the tonka bean it just gives off like a really really good sweet spicy sexy sugary like overall sweet um sort of vibe like very very warm so let's actually now smell this Ooh, i haven't even sm sprayed it but i can already smell it out the bottle just smelling this out the bottle not even spraying it out i'm just getting straight up vanilla like a really 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 creamy vanilla almost like a bourbon vanilla like a really sexy almost like mature but it's super super sweet so let's spray this. I'm so excited. Ooh. Ooh. That is... That is nice. There's something in there where it's like, I don't even know what I'm picking up on. I feel like it's maybe like the spicy notes. It almost has like this slight smokiness to it. It's really, really pretty. Wow. That is so good. That is really sexy. First impression wise, this is so, 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 so good. It's vanilla, but there's so much more to it. You can smell the spice. I don't even know how to describe this. I literally don't know how to describe this. I don't have anything like this in my collection. If I scroll down to the section on Fragrantica where it's the this perf perfume reminds me of section, the first thing that it, it has is warm vanilla sugar from Bath & Body Works. I personally don't think this smells at all like warm vanilla sugar. Warm vanilla sugar is like a very floral vanilla and it's not super warm smelling and it's not... This is very gourmand in my opinion. This smells very, very gourmand. You can definitely smell the vanilla mixed with like the cacao. It's very sweet. It's very warm. It's very gourmand. Whereas warm vanilla sugar despite the name it is not what it sounds like at all. It's like a very floral vanilla it doesn't smell like the name at all and it doesn't smell at all like this it's a really unique vanilla scent like i said nothing that i have in my collection and you guys know i have so many vanilla scents in my collection vanilla scents are like one of my favorite scents i don't think that this smells like a celebrity perfume i really don't i feel like if people are saying that this is generic which i'm sure they are because i feel like every time a celebrity perfume comes out people always like they don't even have to smell it, but I feel like people always hate on the celebrities and they're like, oh, another celebrity perfume. I feel like people literally just hate to hate sometimes. And I truly think this is really, really good. I have so many celebrity fragrances. Look, I will show you guys. This whole row of perfumes down here, if you guys can see, this entire row of perfumes down here is all of my celebrity perfumes. And I don't think a single one of them smells anything close to this perfume and i do i am one of those people that do agree that a lot of celebrity perfumes really do smell like one another like there's something about celebrity scents where they just smell like celebrity scents and i don't think that this one does it's a really unique vanilla it's a very gourmand vanilla yes but there's so much more to it like you do get that spiciness but it's not intense you get the cacao it's like wrapped up with that vanilla it's almost like marshmallowy it gives me like this fluffy warm vibe to it like if you describe this as like a marshmallowy vanilla type scent it sounds very juvenile but those spicy notes give it like such a sexy feel and it almost gives it like a bourbon vanilla sort of smell i i'm in love with this scent like i can promise you guys i will be using this non-stop i feel like i just don't want to wear anything else other than this right now this is so beautiful i can't wait for my husband to smell that and i just want to know his opinions on it i think he will really really love it just because he always loves when i smell like sweet vanilla he loves those types of scents i'm not even gonna lie 
This smells like a candle to me, which sounds so weird. Like a vanilla chocolate candle. Maybe like a candle that's called a uh, marshmallow vanilla chocolate. Like a mixture like that. It really gives me like candle vibes, which sounds so weird, but there's something about it. It almost comes off like a little fresh in the opening but just in the opening and then it like really really warms up right away the spicy notes come in right away i don't get any rose in here but i do get basically all of the other notes like i get vanilla i get cacao i get spicy notes tonka bean for sure amber woody notes i'm not really getting muskiness if i do get a muskiness in here it's like a really sweet really really good musky scent not like sweaty by the way i'm not like um, biased towards this perfume at all. I'm not a huge Billie Eilish fan. Have I listened to her songs? Yes, but I'm not like a diehard fan where it's like, oh my god, I love her and everything that she does, so I'm automatically just gonna love this because it's her. That's not me at all. I don't really get like obsessed with celebrities like that. I'm just not that type of person. Like, I do listen to her songs just like I'm sure everyone does because they're so popular. Like, how can you not? But I'm not like being biased at all in saying that. I'm like just rating it just perfume wise. I'm not rating it because it's Billie Eilish. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. Presentation wise, packaging, the scent. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. If you don't love sweet scents, maybe you wouldn't love that. But I personally think it's a really, really sweet and sexy perfume. A lot of celebrity perfumes tend to lean very juvenile. They tend to focus on like a really, really younger age group like for example the ariana grande fragrances which i love and i use all the time but a lot of them don't really have like that really sexy quality to them they just kind of smell sweet and pretty and girly this one there's definitely an edge to it and i think this bottle definitely just gives that off i think the bottle overall is a really really good representation of the scent so i think this is really well made I love it. I don't care what anybody has said about it. I'm sure there's tons of negative opinions about it just because it's a celebrity scent. But let me know what you guys thought about it if you did buy it. I've gotten a lot of comments and also DMs over on Instagram for me to review this perfume. So I hope you guys finally got to know my opinion on it. I hope that this gave you some sort of insight towards what I think, towards like the basically description of this perfume if you did buy this for yourself let me know what you thought about it whether that was a good opinion or a bad opinion on it please let me know any other perfume recommendations that you have for me i'm always open to your recommendations i buy so many perfumes based off of you guys recommendations so i would definitely love to know some more but i hope you guys like this video new videos will be coming asap i have a ton of good content for you guys but that is it for today as per usual please subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on and i will see you guys in my next video bye Thank you.